here is my design. Here is my Next.js Tailwind project. You know what would be cool? To connect them all together. How do you do that? So here are my variables. Let me change the primary color of the background and the primary color, color, color of the foreground. What I will do now is I will now export these variables to a file, a very special file, which I will now convert through magic script. Here's my site. Oh my god, the colors just changed. Let's try it again. This is so fun. So primary, let's set it to green. Yeah, or oh, like green is a primary color. All right, variables changed. Let's hit export, save, replace, convert the file back to my Next.js project, which is reloaded and the green is there. So let me now go into the full tutorial of how this works. First of all, I will change these colors back to my original colors because I like the blue better. Sorry. Okay. And so here's the data structures. Structure. We have Figma variables. First of all, we need to convert them to, to a file, which is done through a plugin. And this will be inputted into exported to exported variables.json. Let's see how it works. So here I go to plugins, and plugins, I tap export variables. And I search for this wonderful plugin by Magic Grass and I hit export variables. Export variables once again. And you can see that here we have export variables.json file, which I'm going to put right next to my tailwind config, okay? So hitting save, hitting replace because you know that file already existed on my computer. And so now if you take a look, we now have exported variables.json. And so here is all the data. Now the problem with this data is that Tailwind doesn't understand this. So we need to take this exported variables and run a script to another format that will be ready for Tailwind. So that's why I have written this script right here, which takes your file, exported variables.json, and converts them into a variable output.js. Now I have a few settings here because I have some color fields. I have spacing fields and border radius fields. This script doesn't know which is which, so that's why I'm going to put in these names from my you know, variables. So here, if I take a look, so I have spacing for the spacing fields we can see that in the spacing field, I put in spacing. It has to match exactly. Then I have the border field, uh, the border radius field, uh, which is this one, the radius, right? So border radius field is called radius. And for the color fields, well, we have three. We have border, foreground, and background. These can be whatever you wish, but here the problem is, when I type these variables, I want them to be, I want them to type text fg positive, not text foreground positive, because that takes too much time and my time is valuable, you know. So for this, I'm going to map my Figma color fields to keywords that will be available in the, in the final file. So I'm mapping background to BG, border to border, and foreground to FG. Okay, so here are the settings. For the border radius order, I just want to sort my border radiuses according to this. It doesn't matter. Whatever, now we have a variable output. Back to the structure, we have a variable output. And the last thing is, oh, let me show you how the variable output looks like. So here is all, all our values. Now, these are values that Tailwind can understand. But 
we need to import them into my tailwind config so i already have some other values in my tailwind config so i just want to include those that are needed so for that i'm going to type in figma variables require you know the variable output dot theme because we can take a look at here is the theme and now i'm just going to import them one by one so for the spacing the spacing border radius border radius colors colors all right and that's all done so now let's take a look here i have the wonderful green color let's change that back to the blue one so my variables are all set so i'm exporting variables with the magic grass plugin hitting arrow export and putting in next to my tailwind config.js now in the same directory is the variable output or, sorry the convert variables script so i will just type node uh, if you don't have node you need to install node and you will sure figure out how to install node because you know, I don't want to explain it so sorry and I'm just having node convert variables dot js except you need to be in the correct file so I'm just going to cd into the directory and try again node convert variables dot js hitting enter and now processing completed which means it has generated the variable output this is now changed and tailwind is automatically importing everything so right now if i go back to the project it is blue all right i'm going to include all folders that i mentioned in the description uh just a quick note i didn't write much of this uh, convert variable script it's just chat gpt4 basically but you know we cooperated a little bit so i hope this is useful you will find all the relevant files in the description and i, I don't know here the imagine magical outro because i don't know what how do you say goodbye on the end of the tutorial file